Per Ogon. I represent Eastern Southeast, Eastern Northeast, and I'm from Edo State. How to control the manufacturing and use of single use plastic bags, polythene, and replace same with biodegradable or fabric materials. It has notes that the uncontrolled use of plastic materials and the arbitrary disposal of plastic waste, particularly shopping bags, present imminent danger to the people and the environment. It has also notes that those non-degradable materials that litter the country stay for decades without decaying, and they eventually become a crucial cause of obstructed drainage and water channels that have precipitated flooding in some flood-prone areas, thereby endangering the ecosystem and contaminating agricultural soil. The House is informed that an estimated 50 billion plastic bags are used annually, and they account for a staggering 20% of municipal solid waste in the country. The House is aware that over time, the plastic bags find their way into the marine environment and are ingested by marine animals, thereby choking them. The House is also aware that plastic bags gravely disrupt the ecological balance, leaching in, water, in our water and emitting dioxins into food when left in a humid environment or heated. He has his concern about the public health risks posed by their disposal because most are burnt, thus releasing harmful toxic gases such as methane and carbon dioxide into the air, increasing the level of volatile organic compounds. He has also concern that several African countries like Kenya, Rwanda, Cameroon, Guinea-Bissau, Mali, Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia, Mauritania, and Malawi have adopted measures to reduce the production and use of plastic bags, particularly single-use shopping bags, through an outright ban or imposition of tax as a means of as a means to crack down on carbon emission. Cognizant of the proliferation of single-use plastic bags and the significant public cost in disposal, little control and negative environmental impact, it is imperative that the country adopts international best practices in its effective control. The House resolves to mandate the Committee on Environment and Habitat and Climate Change to interface with the Federal Ministry of Environment to regulate the manufacture arbitrary use and disposal of single-use plastic bags and effective direct, effectively direct waste recycling and report back within six weeks for further legislative action. Mr. Speaker, my highly esteemed colleague, I so move. Honorable Nuru Sharif. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, honorable colleagues, my name is Mohammed Noor Sharif, representing Bama Gala, Kalabalge Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, I'm from Borno State. I rise to second the motion ably moved by my colleague, Honorable Sir Jones. So I so second, Mr. Speaker, and honorable colleagues. Honorable Ogun, please lead the debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a very straightforward and a harmless motion. I thought to bring this to our attention because of the hamlets, because of the, the deaths, the, there are so many things we can control by making the simplest of decisions for the sake of our people. Now, if we control, if we talk about poverty in this country, it's understandable. But if we have to do the needful to preserve the lives of our people, it doesn't take anything from us. 
but to take the attention of the authority there so that the need will be done. Mr. Speaker, the way we dispose and segregate waste in this country is a major problem. Now we have heard of flooding all over the world, and we are beginning to experience it even right here in this country. If most of the floodings have happened overseas, happen in this country, it can actually wipe out a whole city or a whole state. Abuja is one of the most, is one of the newest cities in the world. We have manholes everywhere, and we are beginning to experience flooding here. That is why, for me, it's important that we begin to get the right authorities to address these issues. The use of plastic polythene, plastic bags, has been banned in most countries. Most African countries, like I just read, even in the UK today, if you go to McDonald's, any of the fast food outlets, they do not use plastic bags anymore for safety. They use bags, paper bags. It's for a reason. If you go into any of the shops, depends on what you are buying, they give you one polythene bag, one plastic bag. If you want an additional one, you pay for it. All these are measures to control the use of polythene bags. And if I might just quickly add, polythene bags do not decompose. It takes about 400, 400 years for them to decompose. I do not know of anybody, except in the Bible days, that will live for up to 400 years. It will mean even your fifth generation, any plastic bag you use today that is buried, that is not properly disposed, it will take your fifth generation or sixth generation before that plastic bag will decompose. So, what are we doing to our environment? So, the simple thing, I will urge us to support this motion, allow the committee to do the needful, because I believe we can do a whole lot in getting the right authority to manage waste for the sake, not just of, not for our own sake, maybe some of us are almost there, but for the sake of the generation unborn, the generation that are coming after us. So thank you, Mr. Speaker, and my highly esteemed colleagues, I urge you to look at this objectively and um, pass it. Thank you. It's in favor of the motion, say aye. Those against it, say nay. The ayes have it.